today. This is the worst disturbance in the jail we've had in probably the last five, six years. From Sky 7, McKinley County Detention Center is quiet. But pictures from the ground tell a different story. We had a lot of worry that the rest of the jail may get out of control. Around 1 p.m., jail officials got word that the plumbing was backed up in an inmate housing pod. They started moving dozens of inmates out so crews could fix it. But at 1.33 p.m., officials say the inmates got riled up and started setting fire to their beds and clothing. There was a stack of uh, property, such as clothing, sheets, bedding, uh, mattress type things that, that are all history. State police and fire crews surrounded the jail. Some of the inmates wouldn't leave the pod, so police used tear gas to force them out. By 3 o'clock, the fire was out and order was restored. No one was seriously hurt, but it's not quite a happy ending. McKinley County now has to clean up thousands of dollars in damage, and the pod can't be used until that's done. And both police and the jail will take a hard look at what happened here. If there's policies we need to change or if, if there's uh, some procedures or even if there was some policies that were violated, we have to investigate all of that. This has been quite a month for the McKinley County Jail. Just a few weeks ago, they had an inmate escape from here. He's since been caught. In Gallup, Matt Howerton, KOAT, Action 7 News.